So before we start disassembling, the first thing you need to do is to shut down your computer properly. You can just press Alt F4 for an easy way to shut it down. After shutting down our computer, we are now going to unplug the power cable and all peripherals including the monitor, keyboard, mouse, and any USB devices. After unplugging all the cables, let us now remove the side panel. Lay the case on its side with the ports facing away from you. Use a screwdriver to remove the screws at the back that holds the side panel. Slide the panel off gently and set it aside. And next, we are going to disconnect all the connected cables. Locate the cables from the power supply connected to the motherboard, hard drive, and other components. Gently unplug them. And then remove the ROM. Push down the clips. The ROM will pop up slightly. Gently pull it out. And next is, we are going to remove the power supply. Unscrew the power supply unit from the back of the case. Slide it out carefully. And last, we are going to remove the motherboard. Unscrew the motherboard from the standoffs in the case. After unscrewing the motherboard, carefully lift it out without bending it. So these are the parts that we remove from the computer system unit. So we have the power supply, storage device, RAM, and the motherboard. And we are now going to assemble the system unit. First, we are going to install the motherboard. Align the motherboard with the standoffs in the case. Carefully place it and screw it.
Next, we are going to install the power supply unit. Slide the power supply unit into its slot, usually at the top or bottom of the case. Align it with the screw holes and screw it with screws. After that, let us now connect all the power cables in their appropriate slot. Next is connect the SATA power to drives.
and then the rum. Align the notch on the rum with the slot and press down firmly until the clips snap into place. And for the final, we need to double check everything, make sure all the components are seated properly and cables are connected securely. And now, we are going to test it if everything is working. Since everything is working, we are now going to close the case, place the side panel back on the case and screw it into place. Now, we are going to plug in or reconnect the power cable, monitor, keyboard, and mouse, then power it on. As soon as the computer powers on, repeatedly press F2 to get access for BIOS. So as you can see, we are now in the BIOS utility easy mode. And this is the advanced mode for BIOS. You can use the arrow keys to move through menus. Enter to select and escape to go back. Some BIOS setup also support the mouse. And now, let's do have some tests for the keyboard if all the inputs are working. And yeah, everything is fine and working. Now let's move to the settings and check the about PC or the specification of the computer. <laughs> 